Welcome back to the Joe is Hungry channel. If you haven't been here before, welcome to the Joe is Hungry channel, filmed and produced within the city limits of Fairmount, Georgia. Today, we're headed over to Checkers to check out one of their regular menu items, simply known as the Baconzilla. The Baconzilla burger consists of two hamburger patties, four slices of bacon, two slices of American cheese, melted cheddar cheese, ketchup and mayonnaise, all on a toasted baker style bun. Each one of these will stunt your daily diet by 960 calories. I have the stats on the screen and in the description below. If you want one of these burgers without a side and a drink, you will have to shell out a hefty $6.19. Make it a combo for $11.88 before taxes in Georgia. Is this a good deal? Well, it seems a little bit pricey to me, but we won't know until later in the video when we do the Joe is Hungry weight test and calculate the actual relative fast food price per ounce. So let's get my bacon fix on and roll the drive through at Checkers in Cartersville, Georgia. Can I, Can I get three bacon zillas? Anything else for you, honey? No, that's all. Okay, are you sure you wouldn't like to try one of our rookies? No, nah, not me. 1987, sweetheart. Go ahead and pull up. Honey. Uh I've got my bacon zillas. Let's pull off to the side and do the Joe's Hungry temperature test. Baconzilla number one is 130.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Baconzilla number two is 133.5 degrees Fahrenheit. And Baconzilla number three is 136.0 degrees Fahrenheit. I would have liked to have seen them a little bit hotter than that. This has always been my go-to checkers. But unfortunately today, I really can't give them a pass on the Joe is Hungry temperature test. Now it's time to take a deeper dive, take a look under the hood, head back to the studios, and do the Joe is Hungry weight test. Baconzilla number one is 8.45 ounces. Baconzilla number two is 9.05 ounces. Baconzilla number three weighs in at 8.90 ounces or 252 grams. There's a little bit of spread in the weights, but it's not that bad. So I'm gonna give checkers a pass on the Joe is Hungry consistency weight test. Now, if you add them all up, do the math, divide them out, all that stuff we usually do. You come out with a high middle of the road, 70 cents an ounce. Now it's time for the Joe is Hungry Big reveal. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. We've seen what it looks like, we saw how much it was, we actually saw what was in it, and it could have come out of the drive through a little bit warmer, but that only leaves one more test, the definitive test, the test that everything turns on, the Joe is Hungry bite test. So it is bite test engage. Time. You got the 
damn right. When I see something called a baconzilla, I expect 12 slices of bacon all hanging out around the edges. This only has four thin slices of bacon. That being said, this is a very tasty, cheesy, crunchy burger. For those of you who think this suffered in transit, I took it. Joe is hungry. Sneak a doodle bite. Sneak a doodle bite, number one. Sneak a doodle bite, number two. Sneak a doodle bite, number three. The bacon is crispy, it's cheesy. Let's get on with the video. The melted cheddar and American cheese are the dominant flavors in this burger, but fortunately, it doesn't overwhelm the taste of the bacon. In spite of it being thin, it's even still crispy. I can actually taste it. The only issue I have with this thing, besides it being a little pricey, and really, what isn't these days, is the failure of the temperature test. A burger cooked completely, pulled fresh off the grill, really goes a long way, and I, for one, don't mind waiting the extra time. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that share my opinion. In spite of that, it's still a very tasty burger. And that's why I have to give it a score. And if y'all don't know my scale, my scale is one to 10, nine being the best. Anything above nine is a once in a lifetime experience and almost never achieved. Five and down, is that all too familiar? Slippery slope to the pits and depths of fast food hell. So let's go ahead and give this thing the number that it truly deserves. A mouthful of meat. I can tell you that. I'm gonna go 6-8. That is my number. This is my review. And hopefully I will see you all again in the next video.